Hey guys, look Foggy and welcome to another FIFA 21 player review. And today, guys, I'm going to be doing the 86 rated rule breakers Uruguayan Atletico Madrid centre back Jimenez, who does actually look pretty damn good. I was able to buy him for 180,000 coins. Four games used with him in Division 3 foot rivals, zero goals scored and zero assists. He does also have two star skills as well as three star weak foot. Moving along into his in game stats, uh, some of his main stats include the likes of his 85 defensive awareness, um, his 90 strength, his 89 aggression, his 85 reaction. Actions, there's some top in game stats right there. I did have the powerhouse chemist that applied to him, and then we finish off with the player traits. There's nothing too much in this area. He has the AI traits of dives into tackles and also the injury prone traits as well. So, uh, I'm loving team two of Rule Breakers. I think it's a real cool team. I'm going to have a, a review as well on Apara a little bit later on today. who I like the look of a lot, and, I, and I'm going to be using Apara in my main team, but it's going to probably be on seven chemistry. Um, but I still really want to review him and just see what he's like, you know, on 7 chem. But um, that'll be later on today, maybe tomorrow. I'm not exactly too sure. But yes, uh, Jimenez. I was about to say Raul Jimenez then. Um, but yeah, Jimenez from Atletico Madrid. He's been given a, a nice upgrade. I think he's had a reduction in defense and maybe passing stats, but everything else has been increased pretty nicely. Um, he was fine. You know, he did well for me. I think, if I'm totally honest, he's a little bit too expensive at 180,000 coins. Now, I have no doubt. I mean, over like last night and stuff like that, I'm going into this morning. He has come down in price. I, I went to bed at like 11 o'clock last night and he was what, like 200,000 coins? I got up this morning, he's selling at 180,000 coins. By the time I go to sell him, he'll probably be maybe 170, maybe even 160,000 coins. So I have no doubt that over the next few days, and well, certainly just over this weekend, that he will go under 150,000 coins. He'll stay above 100k. He, he won't go under 100k. I'm pretty confident in that. But, um, you know, if someone was to say right now to me, is this car fantastic value for money? The answer would be no. I think he's a fine car. Don't get me wrong. We know we'll talk about his pros now. I thought that his, uh, his, you know, his tackling and gem was very, very solid. Despite having a reduction on his defense stats compared to his main base cards, that powerhouse camps that makes his defense stats very, very solid. His stance goes up to 99. His defensive ones goes up to 90. His interceptions go up to 92. They were great. The majority of the clips in this video of him making tackles. He was great in that area. I couldn't fault him. Same with his uh, physicality in general. Offered a very good presence on the pitch. He's got 89 strength, 90 aggression. So again, that was great. I couldn't fault those two parts of the card. And you know, when you go and buy a centre back, you know, you want them to be making tackles. You want their physicality to be good. That's like the main part. You know, if if those parts are lacking in a the centre back, then obviously there's a major issue. And um, but but they were fine. I didn't have a problem with that. My problem is the other parts of the card. You know, you. When, when you look at centre backs and you look at the cheap centre backs, you know, like Nathan Ake and stuff like that, Nathan Ake is just as good as this Jimenez card. Nathan Ake is what, 10,000 coins? When you see centre backs that go for over 100,000 coins, over 200,000 coins, you expect them not just to be good in the defensive physicality stat, you, you know, you also expect them to be good in the pace, you expect them to be good in the passing to an extent to be able to start off an attack. Jimenez, uh, th there was no major issue to him. But at the same time, I thought that his pace didn't feel insane. I didn't feel his passing felt that good either. Um, not not woeful. You know, he didn't feel dramatically slow. It wasn't like he couldn't make a pass. But when you sit there and you're thinking, you, you know, you're talking about spending over 150,000 coins for a centre back, I didn't see that value for money when using him. Unlike a Carlos Alberto, for example, where I've paid 680,000 coins and he is worth every single penny because he's the best centre back in the game. No question about that. Um, but yeah, even with the powerhouse camps, he's got 80 short passing, 75 long passing, and those stats are increased very nicely, but they're useless with the fact that he's only got 31 vision. So yes, he can make the, you know, the odd little, you know, short passing into the midfield, you know, Fabinho, um, the, the other centre-back, not the other centre-back, the other midfielder who I was using in the team, I think it was De Jong as well. He can make short little simple passes to them, but in terms of being able to make any long passing, it, it's useless because of his lack in vision. Uh, and, and again with his pace, he didn't feel dramatically slow, but at the same time, did he feel like he had 82 pace? The answer is no, he did. So, on the whole, this card was was good in the areas that you expect every centre back to be good in, um, which was in the you know in the defending and the physicality. But he didn't offer anything more than that to make me say yes, it's worth going and paying the extra money for him rather than going and just getting like any other common gold centre back like a like a long lay or a Varane or whatever. Um I, I didn't see the extra um you know quality about him 
to, to, to you know for it to be value for money i personally didn't see that so in my opinion i wouldn't sit there and pay 180,000 which i don't think he's a terrible you know he's not he's not he's not awful he's not insane at the same time i just personally wouldn't pay 180,000 coins to him based on you know having paid the money for him and used him um yeah i just don't personally see that but anyway guys hopefully you still have enjoyed watching this video and i'll see you guys later